Bring Adam Lago into the conversation. Adam, you spoke with someone who was inside the Capitol when this all went down? Uh, that's right, somebody who wasn't invited but didn't necessarily have to force his way inside either. Perhaps by now you've seen all the videos here taken inside of the Capitol by people who were part of this insurrection to try and stop Congress from doing its constitutional duty to certify the election. So I talked to the self-proclaimed citizen journalist who shot this video about what he witnessed on this unprecedented day of democracy in danger. I was quite excited to see this going on. So you're saying you, you, you approve of what happened today. Do um, I approve of what happened today? Yes. I, I approve 100%. Let me be crystal clear. Steve Baker, who shot this video inside the rotunda, was part of the mob that penetrated the Capitol building. An angry mob hell-bent on destruction and deviation from democracy. Their actions led to a woman's death right in the hallways of where freedom's veins pulse through the corridors connecting the two chambers of Congress. I didn't know that it was a shot until I rounded a corner and uh, what ended up happening was I had a, a young female officer that came over to me and took me by the arm and said, sir, I want to escort you out of here safely. And I went, what are you talking about? And she's moving me towards the door and she said, Sir, do you feel safe? Do you first feel safe? And I said, well, do you feel safe? And she goes, no, I don't. And I said, what's the problem? And right then on our left was the girl who had been shot and they were working on her and giving her CPR at that moment. And there was just blood everywhere. At one point in its terrorizing tour of the Capitol, that mob made its way to Statuary Hall and then inside House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. Once they got to Pelosi's office, there was some damage done. They, they tore up Pelosi's uh, signs that enter her, you know, enter her office area, flipped over some tables, some chairs, things like that. Um, that's as much of that I saw before the, before the um, police came in and started stopping that from happening. So you were inside of the Speaker's office? Yes. Okay, and, and there were, there were 10, 20, 30, 50 people inside the speaker's office? Uh, probably sort of probably anywhere from or? 20 to 30 at the time that I got there. You know, they were taking souvenirs, like uh, tearing her sign. They broke her, her the, 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 the actual first sign you see going into. They tore that off and broke it into little pieces for souvenirs. Now, one of the most pressing and looming questions hanging over this horribly historic moment is how could this have happened? How are the authorities so overwhelmed and seemingly underprepared? Coming up in a couple minutes, you are going to be shocked by what I was told by a member of Congress from Tennessee who was sheltering in his office with a bird's eye view of what was unfolding on the Capitol grounds. Strong allegations against the Capitol Police. We'll see you again in a moment.